Believe it or not, the iPhone 6S wins a battle against a Nikon DSLR in 4K video. Companies are already working on 3D Touch for Android, and they'll jump the wagon with a new 4K tablet. I'm Jaime Rivera, and is it just me or has this week just breezed by really quickly? This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today began with Dell. Those of you that think that Microsoft neglected its partners at its event two days ago, that's because it was the Microsoft event. Dell has just announced a new tablet, its new XPS 12 lineup. And it's a lineup because, well, the higher end model includes a 4K tablet display, fully detachable from its keyboard, great specifications, all the nine yards for 1300 bucks. But if you want a regular 1080p display and just about everything else on such a capable product, you pay $1,000 in another configuration. So links in the description for full details and specifications and whatever choices you want. And even though we're still skeptical about the functionality of 3D Touch on the iPhone, particularly in our review, well, companies are already working on bringing that technology to Android. Yes, we do know that there is a Force Touch capable Huawei smartphone, but Synaptix has just announced new sensors that will allow any Android smartphone to be able to do this by the end of this year. Obviously, we're not sure if this is something that will come in future Android smartphones, particularly due to the patent things with Apple, but stay tuned, that could probably be something next year. And yes, believe it or not, the Facebook like button is going to make the news today. Not because we heard about the rumors of a dislike button to happen, that happened weeks ago, but apparently Facebook is willing to give reactions a try. Not necessarily just dislikes, but people can actually respond with other things like smileys, emoticons, or whatever. And these options are apparently already going to be tested in countries like Spain very soon, if not already. It's interesting. It's hard to predict that this will ever gain the same popularity as the like button on Facebook, but then again, it's Facebook. Anything goes. And for those of you that joined us in the skepticism of the coming soon announcement with the iPad Pro and the new generation Apple TV, we've got some trusted sources that claim that Apple is gearing up for orders to happen as soon as by the end of this month. Not exactly sure which particular date, but it seems that Cupertino wants to get things ready for order by, again, end of this month for shipments to begin sometime within November of these products. That's a great deal. We just don't know exactly how many people are going to go crazy over that iPad Pro, even though we do see it happening with the new generation Apple TV. And finally, the hot news of today are things that actually make me roll my eyes. I hate comparisons between a DSLR and any smartphone. There is just no room for comparison, but uh, this one's kind of interesting as the smartphone actually won this one. We've got an iPhone 6S being compared to a Nikon D750 when it comes to 4K video recording. And it wasn't really 4K was more the quality of the video and when you look at the footage in the video that's in the link to the description you'll notice that uh, the iPhone 6s was actually capable of winning this in adequate lighting conditions bear in mind when it comes to contrast uh, imagery production and color saturation when compared to the DSLR but remember it was in adequate conditions meaning if you do this at night obviously the DSLR is going to win this but it leads me to the question of the day how often do you rely on your smartphone for video recording? Do you prefer a smartphone over a good camera or is it just the convenience? Because in my case, I'll be honest, uh, the only reason why I have a camera is to do this video, but then again, I do everything else with a smartphone. Leave us a comment down below. We would love to know what you do. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on fuckinghour.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.